I recently had an unexpected issue with this SRH789 wideband aerial on my uh, Hakkar F1 porter pack. I tried to use that as a, a band monitor for a VHF contest uh, that I worked with my FT290 and I, I just couldn't get a decent reception and that was there for a reason. And that will become apparent right now because here's an insulating plastic bit. And if we look a bit more deeply, we'll also find the copper wire that bridges it. Now, before you start yelling at me that I'd ruin my hacker rife, it is the improved RF front end by Clifford Heath. Uh, that is the model that uh, goes by the name 2020 or September 2020 version. Now, if we look at that, it looks a lot like this is a four millimeter thread. And if we bridge that with a M4 screw, that should totally fix the issue. So I think if we cut that, like, I don't just cut the head off of that screw like that, that should more or less fit. So let's go to the garage quickly and take care of that. Okay. So we don't need this offending wire. That actually broke off because of course I need to rotate the antenna a little when I screw it into my Hakaraf porter pack. Uh, because of course I want the antenna to point up, uh, but that obviously, as you, you can see, all the glue it's it's not meant to um, to be moved apart from the the hinge that it has. So if I reassemble this thing, I should have a decent through connection. By no means perfect, but this is not a perfect antenna, of course. It's actually just a, a real cheap clone of the Diamond SRH789. The thing was around, don't know, five bucks on eBay. And it's certainly not worth any more than that. And the center connector is just connected straight through, as you can see it right here. Oh. So if I rotate it now, the, the center pin of the SMA connector should just move with the antenna. That should be a big improvement over what it was before. Now here we are on the frequency for the, uh, for the airplanes, for the AS, ADS-B, and it's neither a good SWR nor a good impedance. And that looks different on the two meter ham band, so it, it should be quite usable there. Although it all has to be taken with a grain of salt. Now, if we look at the reception for ADSB, we can see the planes coming in nicely now and also get their coordinates. So great, can use that again.